What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel, Nursing with Key, where I share a whole bunch of tips and tricks that I've learned along my journey to help you guys have the smoothest nursing journey. So in today's video, I'm just going to quickly share with you guys what I have in my clinical bag. So everything that I take with me on clinicals, um, I asked for video requests. You guys requested this. Well, some of you guys requested this. So thank you guys for those requests. And yeah, let's get into the video. So obviously the first thing that you're going to need are your scrubs. So I have my scrubs here. Um, these are the ones that were given to us by the school. This is our uniform. So these are the scrubs that we have to use. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to, you know, order all those cute little nursing scrubs and stuff just yet. We are obligated to wear this so that um, the people working in the facilities that we do our rotations at can know that, you know, we're coming from whatever the school that we go to and that we are not employees. So we all match with our orange is the new black scrubs, our beige top and our white pants, as well as white shoes. Um, this is actually not the shoe that I wear to my rotations. This is the one that I wear to work, but this would work as well. So just a white shoe. So the second thing you guys are gonna need is your name tag. I'm not gonna show you guys the name of my school, but you guys can see the field right here, health assistance and nursing. And here's my picture and my name. So yeah, you're gonna need your name tag for sure um, to put onto your uniform so that once again, staff can know that you're a student and that you're not just some random person walking around. The third thing that you're going to need are your blue pens. I know some places require black, here where I live, it's blue, like charting is blue. So I know some places in the States, they ask you for black pens. I don't know, maybe some places don't care, but for us, blue pens. So definitely have your pens on deck. And just a little FYI, once um, I used a pen like this, the ones that kind of like click in and then you press the button for it to click back up and now it just doesn't want to click back up but it goes up like this and i had it in my pocket and what happened was the um the ink from the pen actually leaked through and ruined my entire scrub so if you um if you need pens, well not if you need pens because you're going to need pens but if you're going to get pens get the pens like this that have the cap on it so that when you put it in your scrub you don't have to worry about it um, staining your shirt because it can be really messed up and you're not gonna get it off, trust me. So the next thing you need for your clinical is definitely a drug guide. Um, you're gonna be giving a lot of medications on your clinical rotations and we are students, so we still have a lot to learn. And even as a nurse, nurses still walk around with their drug book. So definitely take your drug book with you so that you can go over side effects so that you know what you have to look out for when giving someone their medication this is a must like you can't forget this you forget your pen you borrow it from someone else but no one is walking around with two drug books and if you don't have your drug book you're really going to be screwed so don't forget your drug book another thing i like to walk around with is this clinical companion book it's really messed up it was actually handed to me by my um by my auntie who was in nursing school. So this is like a super old book. Well, it's not a super old book, but um, the book isn't in perfect con condition because this was her book. But what this is basically is just a book that kind of goes over um, a bunch of disorders. So if ever, sorry. So if ever someone is diagnosed with something or you see a disorder or something in the chest that you're not familiar with or that you don't remember, you can take your clinical companion guide, open it and kind of briefly go over, you know, what the disorder is to kind of refresh your memory and, you know, remember. So the next thing you're going to need is your stethoscope. Obviously, you're going to be, if you're an RN student, you're gonna be taking lung sounds. Um, you know, you're going to be listening to heart rates. You're gonna be listening to, you know, GI, so peristalsis and all of that, um, bowel sounds. So make sure you have a stethoscope. You're definitely 
going to need a stethoscope. Another very important thing that you're going to need is a notepad. Um, obviously, you're not gonna have the time to run to the nursing station to chart after every single time you see your patient. So you're gonna wanna walk with a little notepad so that you can note down you know, the little things that you need to note down so that when you do have the time to sit down and chart, if you forgot anything, it would be noted. The down. next thing I like to walk around with is a water bottle. This is my favorite water bottle. It's so pretty, it's like rainbow colored. But get yourself a good water bottle because you're going to be running around a lot. You're gonna be extremely dehydrated and a lot of the times when you don't walk with a bottle a water bottle you forget to drink water so if you have your water bottle on hand you will remember to drink water and stay hydrated which is very important especially when you're walking around and running up and down, down the place so get yourself a good water bottle one that's leak proof like this one if you can hear there is water in it actually there's coffee in here I put my coffee in here but it is leak proof so it does not leak I could throw it in my bag anyway and I have have no worries. Another thing you definitely, definitely want to bring with you, Tylenol. I hope you guys don't see that. Well, it says oxycodone on it. This was an old prescription of mine, but um, I just kept the bottle and I put my Tylenols in here. And get yourself some Tylenol, okay? Because let me tell you, you're gonna have headaches. Now, cl clinical rotations can be super fun, but they can also be very overwhelming. Sometimes you don't sleep enough, sometimes you don't eat. You know, a whole bunch of things can cause a, a headache. So, and you're probably gonna be getting headaches when you're, you know, reading a lot, giving medications, running up and down. So, get yourself some Tylenol just in case you do. So, the next thing I walk with is um, a little bit of hand sanitizer. This one is an eucalyptus peppermint hand sanitizer, and it's almost done. But sometimes you walk out of the hospital, you go out to buy lunch, you forget to wash your hands and then you buy a cheeseburger or something that you have to eat your hands. Mm -mm, just in case, always walk with a little hand sanitizer in your pocket just in case there's none around and you like need some hand sanitizer. Next thing I walk around with is lotion. Um, I just put a little bit of lotion in here. This is the Pond's cream. So this is what I use on my face, but it's like extremely hydrating. So I use it on my hands as well. Just a little bit of cream because you're going to be washing your hands and sanitizing your hands a lot. And then what happens over time is you'll see that the, the top of your hand will start to get scaly, sometimes red and really irritated. So I love this Pond's cream because it's really, really hydrating. And when I put it on, it's really soothing. It makes my hands feel better and it keeps them very moisturized throughout the day. So get yourself some lotion. Also walk with some deodorant. Get yourself a deodorant for clinicals. Like I said, you're running up and down, you're getting sweaty and whatever. And nobody wants a stinky nurse. So definitely <laughs> get yourself some deodorant just in case, you know, things start to happen. The next thing I walk with is lip gloss. You guys have probably noticed in my videos that I pack my lips with lip gloss. Lip gloss is my life. This is just um, a pharmacy brand one from, from over here. Um, I got this from Jean Coutu. So if you're from Montreal, Jean Coutu has these. There's It's a pack of five for like $10, I think. Really, really good lip glosses and I always, always walk with a lip gloss just because you don't want to be walking around with chappy lips on the ward, okay? Get it together, okay? <laughs> Next thing I walk with is setting powder. Um, I don't always wear makeup. It's, it really depends on when I get up and um, if I have time to do it and if I'm in the mood to do it. But when I do, sometimes when you're walking around, you can get a little bit oily. My T-zone gets super oily, my nose and my forehead. So I walk with a little bit of setting spray and my powder so that I can just set my nose and you know get myself back together. Next thing I walk with is a brush and a comb. Never ever use these but I don't know, just in case something happens. And some elastics. Sometimes you have your hair in a bun, your elastic breaks if your hair is thick like mine. This is not my hair, by the way, so don't come for me, but y'all have seen my hair and my hair is pretty thick. So sometimes, you know, the rubber band or the elastic can break, so I walk with the elastics just in case I need to get myself back together. And a brush and a comb just in case I end up looking wild or just in case like I wake up late and I have no time to do my hair at home, so I do it when I get to my clinical. And the last thing you are going to need for all of my females out there, don't forget this little guy, okay? Do not forget <laughs> this little guy, okay? Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes some women are irregular, like myself. Um, some women aren't irregular, but sometimes you forget that your cycle is about to start. And if you have scrubs like these, like mine, 
okay? White scrubs. We don't need any boo-boos, okay? So make sure you have your tampon or your sanitary pad or your diva cup, whichever one you use. Anyways, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave video suggestions down below for me. I hope to see you in my next video. Peace. Also, I completely forgot to mention in my last video, in my boyfriend tag video, if you have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. But my boyfriend is an artist. He is an amazing artist. Not only is, an, is he an artist, but he's an amazing artist. So if you are into portraits and stuff like that, definitely go check him out. Follow him on Instagram and get yourself some art from him. He is not pricey. Don't be cheap. Support the kid. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.